Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again within the Cursed Estate and we have put together a team. We have put together a group and we are ready to head out. We're going out with Venus at Twilight Night using the Cherished Keepsake and the Focus Ring for the extra crit along with the Prot stress reduction and a chance to remove stress from extra heroes um that are on our team we also have this with a stealth self de-stress which is really nice uh we also have uh yatsu here the sisters um who is gonna play a bit of a strange role in this team she doesn't really fit in that well um but we need to level her up and i do want to play with her and i think we can maybe get some good stuff out of blossom and bramble um we'll see what we can do here but she's not going to be able to use weed out too effectively effectively because obviously some of these enemies are resistant to blight so we'll see about that we've got joseph hair here as our healer mainly going to be using his healing abilities but we will get out some blight when we can mainly for the damage debuff rather than the actual blight itself though but we'll see how we handle that and then prisoner 10 here is going to follow up the rear in terms of trinkets on these guys less stress and then the Haunted Scrolls for that extra stress healing and blight chance, just in case we do try and blight things. Um, Joseph has his extra healing skill, along with extra healing skill. And then Prisoner 10 has Elizabeth's head for that bleed on melee hit, which is these things here, along with the otherworldly bell for that group healing. This should be a pretty good team, I think. Let's jump on in. We're going into the Warrens. We're going after the Scribe Sword. Extra accuracy. Oh, my alarm's going off. Extra accuracy, extra armor piercing, and a little bit of a reduction to uh, stress healing. But that should be pretty damn good. I think it's a good team. Let's get into it. Okay, here we are. Let's get some provisions. Let's jump on in again. We're just we've got enough money at the minute. We're just going to kind of take a lot of everything because on these long missions we tend to need them a little more. So I think it's worthwhile. We'll also start off here with some diary entries. We actually have a narration from after the wheeled mission from the previous episode. Winds would come from the forest, carrying the, unusual, the usual stench of rot, but also of blood, sulfur, and iron. The evils corrupting that, uh, that place banished through the application of force. These heroes return victorious once again, but they don't return cheering. The people of the town know something they do not. The friar has spoken, and only a few remain faithful to the heroes. Despite crushing the opposition in the wield, the violence and death does not destroy the evil. It feeds it. It stares it like a hornet's nest. Wow, that's really good. Lots of ambiance there. Really makes a... Uh, really sets the mood on some of those. We actually have another one here as well. This is a diary entry for uh, Urku, our Thrall. It's been a while since I left the walls of this protected town. I've been restless. Fighting is what I live for, after all. A solid team this time. A gunner, a strange woman, bent on protecting and healing. And a fighter, another one, Dai. Reminds me of the monk, for some reason. The monsters in the wield, still as easy to crush as ever. I was hoping for a bigger challenge. He will get it one day. Do not worry, Oku. You will get it somewhere. 100% of rune battles here. We're going to have to go pretty much everywhere. But this should be... Hopefully, a, uh, not not too high stress group. Uh, that's not great. <laughs> that's not great. That surprise there actually kind of puts us in a pretty bad spot, to be honest. We'll see how that goes, though. Um, uh, these guys' blight resist isn't high, so these guys can get blighted at least. Very nice. But yeah, there's a few things I was hoping to set up there, and unfortunately... Uh, Venus being pumped all the way to the back there is uh, not allowed for that at all. So I guess we'll just do this. De-stress ourselves. Wait, what? Oh, I'm stupid. One minute. I may. I think I read that wrong. Can you not nibble on one guy, please? He's got scurvy. Great. And he's stunned. Okay. Them two are gone. And there's the heals. Very nice to see. Very nice to see indeed. Wow. Okay, that helped us out a lot. Right, let's reorganize the group because that was terrible. You've been pushed to the back there. How does this skill work? Ah, stress minus 10, then self-stress plus 5. 
Okay, so you can use that to heal yourself. For some reason, it gave us plus 16. Wasn't really sure what that was about. Anyways, let's see what you got. Scurvy. Ah, bleed resist and move resist. They ain't too bad. They're, they're slightly annoying, but we can deal with them, can't we? We can deal with them. Let's jump on in. We've got these horrible beasts. Of course, the corpse eater needs to go down first. Um, check on the blight resist. So the blight resist on some of these is pretty high. This guy does actually... Um, Start to become a little difficult if you blight him. So instead, let's just do this and set up a repost. I think that's a good idea. And then we'll do the same here. And we're kind of we're kind of going to use you to charge in and get our main chunk of damage. I hope at least. Um, let's try and take you out. This should mean we get a kill here. There we go. And then we set you bleeding. Did move you back some. But it's handling stress nicely. That's okay. Handling stress just fine. Tentacle devour. That's going to hurt. Okay. And we keep on trying to plug away with that. Ooh, that's a nice repost there. And the bleed. Bleed sets up nicely for his um, slash because it does 50% crit versus bleeding. So it's, it's a really, really nice setup that actually. Really nice setup indeed. Um, I think we'll just heal here. I think that's a good bet. And then we'll blight you as well. You're already bleeding, so that blight's going to do a really good job against you. Of course, unfortunately, we're a pessimist right now. So we are going to be taking on some extra unnecessary stress. Try and mix these two around. Unfortunately, both resisted the move. Tentacle Devour coming in, but we do have that repost. Rather nice. Um, let's change over. Uh, it's difficult, because if we go forward too, Venus won't be able to do anything. Heal, clear mark, target. Um, okay, let's do that. Let's go with that. Set that up. That's an interesting little move there that we can use. Set up a little bit more of that on there. You should be pretty much dead next round. And get a nice big crit on you. Because he's bleeding. We're, we're almost always going to crit while he's bleeding, so. And then get that. Beautiful. Great damage coming out here. Both of these are going to die to their uh, damage over time effects. Great. That went really well. That went really well. Okay, we'll pop this open. See what extra loot rewards we have. Okay. Scouting here is going to be really useful. We actually scouted our secret room already, which is fantastic for us. In fact, we have no real reason to go down this way, so let's go this way. Now we do, because there's a fight there. Okay. I was going to say, we can go back that way, but there's a fight there now. Okay, we can get rid of a, a negative quirk here. So let's have a little look-see. Uh, pessimist would be great to get rid of. Or is this... This, this is get rid of one, isn't it? Yes. Uh, we can get rid of... Nah, let's have a little look, see. Plus 15 damage received is pretty bad. What you got? Warren's stress is kind of annoying. 10% party surprise. Let's just go with you because the 10% party surprise would be nice to get rid of. And guess what we got rid of? The 10% party surprise. There you go. Absolutely perfect. That worked out just fine. Great when you uh, want a very specific thing to be gone. And that's exactly what it gets rid of. We got 70, 90, 90. Okay. 90% and you failed. That's that's imp that's impressive, Joseph. That's impressive. My god. Top in here. Um, Do I have enough torches to get rid of... To snuff out all my torches and, and do this? <laughs> I do. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. We got ourselves bleed chance and bleed amount. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Hey, we actually got an extra torch back here as well. Great. I always forget to do that. Ooh, this is actually a hard bit of combat here. Very hard bit of combat indeed. Charge is going to be important. 
Let's get that blight out on any enemy that it'll affect. Think you two need it first. Hmm. I'm actually just going to go for the blight again. Oh, I resisted the blight, actually. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Uh, we could go with the uh, repost here. Or we could do this. I think this is a little more advantageous. Switching people around is always nice. We go in on the charge. I love that attack. That attack is so good. Nice dodge there as well. Even better. Right, Joseph is taking on quite a considerable amount of stress, so we're going to spend some time removing some of that. I think that's going to be a good idea for us. Ooh, that hurts. And we get the Eldritch Blood as well, which, if I remember, is pretty bad. Oh, even if they die to bleed via um, the Hollow versus our Hollow Knight, they, it also triggers other worldly bell. Nice dodge, though, Joseph. Nice dodge. Let's just check how the uh, Eldritch Blood works. Yeah, we get extra stress, but we get a lot of extra resists. The extra stress is a bit of a pain, especially on this person here, but we can deal with it. 14 stress removal, that's great. A heal for a heal. Okay, one of you's gone. Good, good, good. Doesn't matter which one of you I hit, to be honest. No, now dead. Good, good. I was going to say, it was going to kill either one of you, so that worked out fine. This guy's probably going to get an extra turn before he dies, unfortunately. And I think we I think we utilize that to try and de-stress, even though it is stressing us out somewhat. Okay, that's fine. Any stress on Venus is the perfect person to stress out, because she can de-stress with her own attack. All we got to do is hit things, and Venus is going to do great. But I think this is a pretty interesting team, and these guys are going to work really well together. Joseph is kind of the outcast of the group, I think. But otherwise, this is a pretty... These, these, this group, I feel like, would get along quite well. Right, we've got a fight here. Of course, more of the courtyard. The thirst coming in. A bit of stress there. Um, let's just do this. Set up that repost. Ready to go. Ready to take on these horrible beasts. They're always... They're always after. After Joseph. I don't know what he's done wrong, but... Surely it's something. Um, light resist. These guys all have pretty high light resist. Let's just set up a repost, because it's a bleed repost as well, so I quite like that. The charge here. Decimated. Indeed decimated. Resisted the bleed, the. Charge is such a powerful move. Let's get a kill here. Bit of stress relieval as well. Gather the blood. Thirst coming in once more. We're getting really lucky with resisting the um, the Crimson Curse right now. We really are. Okay, nice. I'm going to go for this, even though it's a very low chance. We did get him. Do you know what? We'll go for it again. Oh my god, we got it twice. Great stuff. Nice, great. That's going to be a huge stress heal. Look at that. We just have a, such a calming, a calming essence here. Venus just has such a calming essence. Right, let's try and remove some of this curse. Curse, even stress. There you go. And then another crit comes in. And I think this group is really set up for success right now. We have another Viscount Invitation. Again, I think we already have them, so I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to be really pissed if I don't, but I'm pretty sure we do. I remember I remember getting one at one point. Okay. Ooh, this is, a, this is a tough battle. This guy in stealth. Luckily, charge will still hit him, I think. Uh, let's have a look. Blight resist. Okay. You back there, you can get blighted. Your blight resist isn't super high. In fact, you can get blighted again. There we go. Nine over five after two turns is great. 
This guy, I'm just going to start wailing into him already. No bleed, unfortunately. We want to prevent this guy from stealthing. The drums are coming in. Don't worry about the drums. Don't worry about the drums. Hug it where it hurts. That's a big problem. We can, that can crit us with some really crazy numbers. Um, but luckily, we got away from it. This guy hasn't run, a, run away yet, so we might be able to get a nice hit on him. Going to go for that. Was hoping for the bleed chance at 70%, but still didn't get it. Another one of these here. By the way, I do realize that uh, Yatsu's main trait is to switch between warrior mode, but we don't have a very a heavy dancing party. We don't have a, a party that can move themselves around a lot. So I'm opting to not really use her warrior mode too much because that's very movement based. There's those crits I was talking about. 14. Pretty big crit. Let's move these two around. Or at least try. Unfortunately, we didn't get anything there. There's the disengage. Don't worry about that, though. We've got a plan. De-stress ourselves a bit. Ooh. Thank God she dodged that hook, then. My God, we're getting some good crit heals, though, here. Very good crit heals. Getting unlucky on the bleeds, though. These guys do not have high bleed resist, and we are getting really unlucky with it right now. Able to hit both of these guys, even the guy that's stealthed. This guy's going to come out of stealth with quite a lot of damage here. We just have to kind of accept that. You have burn of stress right now. There you go. Everyone's healed up now. Okay, set up that repurse. Why not? We do have bypass and de-stealth here, which I didn't even think about. But that's very useful for us. It's another reason to bring Yatsu out in these later missions. She can see what others cannot. She sees past the illusions. She is very knowledgeable on that behalf. Why is she gaining different amounts of stress each time? It's it's because her stress levels are just going up. All scholar skills are just they're just climbing, so she's getting more and more stress every time. Which obviously isn't great, but. I was really hoping for a crit there, just to get the stress down. And there you go. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate excitement okay. be considered a Got another fight there. We're doing well so far, though. This is a very a very positive mission for us. Like I said, this group is, is well prepared. They are well prepared indeed. Keep going forward. Another fight with the courtyard, boys. Don't worry, though. We can get them. Um, let's have a little look. Weed out. Blight resists are relatively high across the board here. 28. Let's just do this and get rid of some of your stress. It's not the best course of action, I don't think. But I do think it works out for us. Let's go with that repost. Charge coming in in a moment. Oh, unfortunately, it's the first time we've had a charge that didn't kill. But... That does kill. Give them no quarter. And there's those huge stress heals coming in. Huge stress heals. That's a skewer though. Skewer and bleed. That does hurt quite a bit. That does hurt quite a bit. We do have to be worrisome of that. He did resist the bleed. A shame. Okay, nice crit there. Beautiful. Huge stress heals across the board. Of skill and Heal you up a little bit as well. Just get everyone topped off, I think. And there you go, another one of them there. Stress is looking way better now. The will to fight. Slash, there you go. Blight and bleed on you now. One more go around of these guys. And even more bleed coming in. And even more blight coming in. Ah, oh, you, you did resist that. You had to resist that, didn't you? There's that crit coming in. Beautiful. Huge crit chance when they're bleeding. Um, We do have some ability to get some money here. I'm going to get rid of our busts for these. And the rest I'm going to leave. Okay, we still have to go... Wait a minute. Still have to go up to this room here. Okay, so... Joseph, you were the trap disarmer. You get that. This time you actually succeeded. Thank you. Make sure to switch switch around our party order, please. 
I sometimes forget to do that. And with him in the back with that charge, we really want that, especially in comps like this. Wow. This guy's always going to get to go first. He has really high speed. But we should be okay here. Um, let's first of all get you out of stealth, because you're going to get that bonus damage if you're stealth, and we do not want that. So taking, taking you out of that early is pretty important. Um, we can blight you. Unfortunately, no, we can't, because we missed. Enter entertaining the mass. <sighs> that is a lot of stress. Wow. That was an absolutely huge stress hit there. Okay, good. Bleed on both of you guys. Yeah, that was a an insane stress hit right there. Don't worry about it, though. We got this. Burn Breaker coming in. <sighs> that one can hurt. That one can hurt. Okay, nice. Good stress heal there. Then we'll start stress healing you, I think. Also, you got to got to remember this is also a normal heal, not just a stress heal. So there's that to think about, too. It's a very, very good move, actually. Aim at the heal. That does hurt. That does hurt quite a lot. Try and take this guy out. Oh, the bleed isn't quite going to do it. There's that crit. And there's the heal for everyone as well. Something I keep forgetting about, the other worldly bell is, is always it's always got our back. If we put it on someone that's dealing a lot of damage, it's always gonna help us. That's what I like to see. The disengage, luckily. Oh, Tinnitus, we are taking on some crazy amount of diseases right now. Tinnitus, stress healing received. That's, that's not great for her, but it's not terrible either. Another crit. Okay, you should be able to get de stealth in a moment. There you go. Love the ability to do that. That's so nice. Fighting against these things, that's so, so nice. Okay, bit of normal healing coming in. The beastly blow. Ow. Nah, it only hit me for nine. Not too bad. <laughs> that's a crit. Or a huge stress heal. And switch over. And finish you off with that. <laughs> that's that's the way you want to be using that. Look at that. Knocked her stress right down. Knocked her stress right down. Sadly, a lot of money here that we can't really take. A lot of money here that we can't really take. I guess I just get rid of deeds and throw on these. Yeah, that'll do. We keep on moving forward. I'm going to move to this room and then we'll camp it out. Set up camp. Right, here we go. We've got some more dire entries while we're around the campfire here. Next one is Strange Wonder again, and this is Victoria. Um, while the others were too busy delving into every other surrounding area to try and quell the unrest of the rising tide of monsters, I started to notice a striking presence of the courtyard stench in the air. They are getting bolder, just as I thought. More and more I hear of encounters with blood-sucking nobles with the strangest, within the strangest of places. The danger of the plague grows once more. I took it upon myself to cut a path through to the courtyard to discover which of the vile, disgusting abominations are standing behind its attack. As I thought, the abhorrent creature stalking the dining halls of the lavish estate has turned into something truly ab abnominal. Abominable. Can't even say that word. The Viscount. This won't be an easy fight for the others. Wow, I'm looking forward to that fight. It's gonna be, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough, but it's also gonna be quite exciting. Right, do we have any prevent nighttime ambush? Let's have a look. We do. Um, right there. Okay, let's go with that one. Um. Self only, minus 20% chance party surprised, extra chance monster surprised. That's great. And then here we've got minus 45% stress, and then everyone else gains stress. I can I can deal with that. Um and then Yep, I can take that. Nice. That works out great. Okay. Now. Boom. Boom. 
Boom. <laughs> now you get that massive buff, and we get no downsides. Really nice way to play that. Okay. Bit more money here. I'm liking that I'm learning how to do things like that. That's stuff that I just never would have been able to do or know to do before. Hopefully we'll get surprises a little more often now, but we can't guarantee it, of course. And hopefully we don't take on any, any uh, of the curse itself right here. Oh, we didn't switch our people around. This is going to be a harder fight. This is going to be a slightly harder fight than it has to be. I'm going to switch over to warrior mode now. I want to be getting kills as quickly as possible here. Damn. Okay, this is this is going to be hard. This is going to be tough. I've got an idea. That makes things easier, actually. Thank you. That does make things easier. There you go. That's one of the reasons. Unfortunately, this does mean that Venus is kind of out the fight. Nice. Oh, really? A miss? That's terrible. Terrible, terrible timing on that. A first coming in once more. Nice crit. And the blight. Great. Oh, no. I forgot about that. <laughs> That's why he needs to die. I forgot that that was a thing. God damn. A tough bit of combat here for us. Tough bit of combat. The first coming in once more. And again. And that healed you for a significant amount too. And again. Oh my god. The tides have turned. They really have. Okay, finally we're repositioned. Okay, we need to start doing some stress healing here. Because there is some stress going down. Don't care which one of you I hit, I just want to buff up that attack. Why I'm coming in as well. Wow, this is a lot of stress. There's a lot more stress than I was expecting right now. Another wine coming in. Nice dodge. The bombing run. Good dodge again. Okay, we're at least getting some good dodges going on. We're at least getting that. Nice heals. 42, 44. You need it more. Huge stress heals coming in. Nice. That's starting to get to insane levels of damage now, as you can see. It just keeps building the more we use it. Nice. Okay, we're, we're about done here. Okay, another huge stress heal. And there you go. Oh my god. That was definitely a harder one than I was expecting to come into there. Definitely. Oh, wait. Before we go, we need to reorganize our party yet again. I keep forgetting to do that. Very, very important for this group. Sets us up very nicely if we get into the right order. Okay, three stress dealers. Wow. Isn't this a sight to behold? Okay, let's just use you to manage stress at this point. That's all right. We can deal with that. That's all right. Oh, it's a crit though. Oh, 22 stress. Oh, that that's a that's a that's quite a lot. 22. That's 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 quite a bit. <laughs> quite a bit more than I was expecting there. My god. <laughs> Venus, my god, I wasn't expecting that. That is beautiful to see. And there you go, wow. 
God damn. Thank you, Prisoner 10. Doing great work. Right, let's get that stress gone. No one needs healing. I just keep doing that to myself. I know it marks me, but I'm already marked, so that's fine. Give you another punch. Hope to get one more stress heal off here, so let's, uh, let's wait for that. Wow. That's a stress heal off of everyone. I didn't realize that. That's insanely good. That's insanely good. So too will resist. We jump in. What we got here? Some other ha more hard enemies. We're getting some tough ones. We're only on mission level four at the minute, so like we, it's gonna get harder. Oh, I forgot to reorder my group again. The it's so annoying when I do that. It it completely wastes a huge like some huge potential. Let's set up all of our posts here. Or three of our posts at least. Ah, no bleed, unfortunately. I think this could help us out quite a lot with this group. Wow, 11. That's huge. That is huge damage for a repurst. And 13. My god. These guys are getting pummeled by just repursed. Oh my god, you're all going for her. Leave Venus alone. Look at that stress level. I did want to de-stealth him, but I think it's better that we de-stress right now. Because that could easily get out of hand. Easily get out of hand. There you go. We've we've brought it back. We've brought it back. Do not worry. Sedated. Soothed, sedated. Can we get stress healing off of this? I doubt it. Yeah, thought so. This guy's got two more turns of stealth. Don't worry. We can get him. There you go. Get out of stealth. You're not doing your big attack. I don't want I don't want to see it. Nice crit. My god, look at those huge hits. And we just go for some more stress healing hits here. Wow! Wasn't expecting that. That is what I call a stress healing hit. Okay. Just a few more rooms to go. Um, you wanna you wanna take this right? That bonus damage, thirty percent. Love it. Love to see that thirty percent damage up. There's more. Of course, there's more. They are everywhere right now. They have infested literally everything. It is overwhelming. Activating double repurses here. Not triple, though. I want to bring you forward. Ah, I brought him back. Damn it, I wanted to bring the little fly forward. I wanted to get an insta-kill on him. But there you go. Two insta-kills there. And that is why that attack is just insane. Opening up with that is absurd. I could actually change his trinkets over to get those two trinkets that make him do more damage on the first turn to get some more guaranteed one-shot kills. That could be an interesting little setup here. Actually, thinking about it. The first coming in once more. But there you go, the repurse finishes you off. And that's why we set up repurse to people. 17 healing. Wow. We'll even go for a blight here. Just to try and take you out. Just that little bit quicker. Get you that punch on you there. And there you go. You are done. I'll have no more of these beasts, thank you. We've seen enough. We've seen enough of these beasts. We don't need any more. Okay, we have one more room battle lying somewhere here. Ow. Cruel machinations spring to life with a singular purpose. Okay. Here it is. The last room. This is it. A little bit more hard earned cash. There you go. We can hopefully get rid of the ma majority of our stress in this fight as long as it's not something too stressful. Okay, this is possible for us to de-stress quite a bit here, actually. These guys can crit for something crazy, but I still think we can get some good stuff going on here. 
I think we start off with a weed it out on you. Just to get you out of um, that stealth. Then we blight you. We want to kill you as, qu as quickly as possible, really. Wow, that is an insane charge. That is an insane charge. Diminish. Wow. <laughs> These guys are just absolutely killing it. Nice, you missed as well. Even better. Okay, this is... That, that, that went far better than I could have imagined. Get more blight on you. Okay, you've got 17. Essentially takes all of it off of you. And there you go. Wow. We're coming up out of this smelling like roses. My god. And driven into the mud. I guess we'll take that. Nice. Return to the hamlet, feeling good. Feeling very, very good indeed. Okay, wow, that was that was a very good adventure there. And we got everyone's level five as well. Great. We did get quite a lot of diseases there though, so we definitely want to take a look at curing up those. Uh, we got some pretty pretty rough ones. Make sure we unequip all our trinkets. And then let's uh, have a little look-see. We got tinnitus. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. We got... Scavy. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. And we got... Oh, is that it? Okay. Uh, either way, let's have a little look at what we've got here. Um, Forsaken with an extra blight skill chance. And extra speed's kind of nice. Um, 8%... Ooh. Minus 20 stress ceiling. Do you know, I'm going to get that. That seems, that seems very interesting. I like the idea of that. Then, do we have anything here that we really want? We've got to the point now where our money's pretty self-sufficient. So if we see anything we really want, I think we should grab it. Um... I don't really want to bring... I don't really want to grab stuff that's giving us loads of extra stress. Plus 20 prop, plus minus 10 stress is pretty good. Um, a lot of these do add additional stress, though, uh, unfortunately. The, the Rancid Cure-All is interesting. That's a lot of resist. That is a lot of resist. None of those are quite worth enough, though. None of those are quite good enough for 50k right now, at least. We don't have anyone new to bring in yet. We're still waiting on some extra classes to arrive. We've still got some new classes we still haven't seen yet. So it'll be interesting to get those in. But either way, we have one last diary entry to finish this off from Strange Wonder. And this is by Unknown. A twist of fate. The never-ending assault of the heroes seems only to rouse the monstrosities hidden within this place. The town grows restless as shadows rise from within the corners of one's eye. Men and children alike find everlasting joy in drowning their never-ending anguish within the warm, tender embrace of ignorance. Blaming those who fight instead of those who are fought. Heroes battling their way through endless hordes fueled by their own varied perceptions of the world. The wolf and the ma maniac draw close. As the rest continue their abhorrent schemes or drown their wailing madness uninterrupted, they will all learn with time. True darkness never ceases to conceal its deepest pits within the calming curtain of silence. That was just awesome. And that is going to be something that Strange Wonder is doing a little more often, where he'll kind of be doing a recap and a retrospective on what is going on in the Hamlet and what is coming, which I think is going to be really interesting. I really like the idea of that. Either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one.